What's up, everybody? Last week, I had a $75 that's been burning a hole in my pocket. So I decided to spend it on the new 8 GB Raspberry Pi. And again, the best money I ever spent. In today's video, I am going to install the new 64-bit Raspberry Pi operating system. Next, I will flash and update the Raspberry Pi so I can boot up with a solid state drive and ditch the SD card. But before removing the SD card, I have to clone it to the SSD drive that I will be using. Last but not least, I will show you how I normally mount external hard drives on to my Raspberry Pi. But before we begin, I have to mention that the new 64-bit operating system is still on the beta phase and you may run into issues down the road. Also, the instructions to configure the Raspberry Pi to boot up from a USB device may cause irreversible damage or break your Raspberry Pi. However, I have to say that I personally performed the upgrade on three Raspberry Pis. So far, all of them booted up from USB devices with no problems. All the commands used in this video are in the video description at the bottom. Now, let's get to work. After conducting a quick search, I found this beta version in the forums link of the Raspberry Pi website. I have the link in the video description below in case you have any problems finding it. After downloading the file, I unzipped it and used the etcher to flush it to my SD card. Once complete, I pulled the SD card out of my PC and inserted it into my Raspberry Pi, started it and followed the prompts. Before we dive in, I feel the need to remind everyone once again that there is a risk associated with flushing the firmware in your Raspberry Pi. To my knowledge, the update is not official yet. If you normally experience power outages or you are expecting a tornado, I highly recommend using some type of battery powered backup system before proceeding. Now that we get that out of the way, let's continue. In order to boot up from a USB device, you have two options. You can either flush a copy of the Raspberry Pi OS to a hard drive using Etcher as we did earlier with the SD card, or you can simply plug in a hard drive to the Pi and clone the SD card. Here are the steps. Last thing I want to cover in this video is mounting a hard drive. In my case, I am booting up with a 150 gigabyte SSD 
but I have a two terabyte hard drive that has all my media. So I need to be able to access all my media and stream it when I want to. Here's how I normally mount my external hard drives. Go ahead and open your terminal and type in blkid. What we're looking to get is the disk name and the connected USB storage device UUID. I like to have a text file open where I can paste and keep track of all my information. In my case, my connected USB device is showing as SDA1. Yours may be different, so make sure you use your disk name. Now we need to create a directory. I named mine Media Server. You can name yours whatever your heart desires. Next, we need to try to mount that directory and chmod it. If you get a message saying that your mount is denied, don't worry, keep going. Type in ID to find your UID and GID. My UID is 1000, my GID is 1000. The last thing we need to do is input this line in our FS tab. That way our drive will mount automatically when we boot up. Now all you have to do is reboot and you'll be all set. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe and like. Thanks.